When we are faithful to God's plan, communication becomes an effective expression of our responsible search for truth and our pursuit of goodness. Dear friends, today with the Universal Church, we celebrate our firm belief that Mary, the mother of God, was freed from the corruption of the grave. She is the queen of heaven and earth. This truth was defined infallibly in 1950 by Pope Pius XII as follows. The Immaculate Mother of God, the ever Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul in to heavenly glory. Today is also a reminder for all of us that our destiny is beyond the grave. We are called to live forever with God and Mary, the angels and saints in heaven. And thus we prayed in the opening prayer, always attentive, to the things that are above, may we merit to be sharers of Mary's glory. But dear friends, we can't presume we are going to heaven. We must strive every day with the Lord's grace to be ready, to be prepared for that day when he will call us to himself. And Mary's the perfect example. She shows us the way. Like Mary, may we be ever mindful of the blessings in our midst every day and proclaim the greatness of the Lord. Like Mary, may we treasure the vocation that has been entrusted to us, live it worthily, and echo with profound trust her words, Lord, let it be done to me according to your word. And in the midst of our very busy and demanding and hectic lives, may we, like Mary, always remember that our highest priority each and every day must be sitting at the feet of Jesus, quietly, serenely, simply being with him. How blessed are we as beloved sons and daughters that Jesus from the cross gave us his mother as our mother. Just yesterday we celebrated the feast of St. Maximilian Kolbe. He offers us this sound advice. We should let ourselves be guided by Mary and rest quietly and securely in her hands. She will watch out for us, provide for us, answer our needs of body and spirit, and dissolve all our difficulties and worries. Mary, Queen of heaven and earth, pray for us today and always. Amen. <laughs>